today we're going salmon fishing on the beach and I think it's gonna be fun. As you can see, as I scale down these rocks, the tide is way out today. You can see ahead of me where I'm walking. First of all, there's about three dozen geese, but also there's about two dozen anglers all fishing the same area. The fish uh, like to sit off the point there. They don't like to go in the shallow stuff when the tide's out because it's easy pickings for the seals, which uh, last time I was here about a week ago, I saw a seal catch a beautiful chrome little coho, but today the goal is to one up the seal and get one on my line. So stay tuned guys. I am pumped for today. Fish or no fish. I've never been out here on the tides this low and it's, uh, it just looks really fun. Wish me luck guys. Just as I'm about to leave, this guy hooks up. Hmm. Hey? Right. Nice. Someone just caught over here too. That was nice. Buddy let me know that uh, someone was catching a fish over here. I think I'm gonna go mix up spots. Nice seeing you again. I hope you get a huge one. <laughs> yeah, thanks. All right, guys, let's go lower cap. See if we can get a, a couple resident uh, rainbows on dry fly. And then maybe we'll go up to Cable Pool and uh, give it a go. Haven't been there in a while. And uh, I hear that lots of people have been catching on uh, on flies. Ah, oh, let's go. Look at this. Dry fly water, guys. And uh, at this point, late summer, mid-August, any uh, any little baby rainbows that are in here, clipped or not, are uh, really not going out to become steelhead at this point. So, fair game, baby rainbows. I'm using a bigger stimulator to try to target uh, a little bit of the bigger fish if they exist. That's a nice deeper spot there. This water's crystal clear. Catching a little baby rainbow might not be as easy as I thought.
I don't know. I guess all the baby steelhead smolt uh, went out to the ocean this year. And then they're hanging up in the river. Hopefully that means uh, the return in a few years will be better. <laughs> um, I got a couple more spots up here to throw a dry fly at and then we're gonna go up to Cable and uh, try to catch salmon. All right, well, I should probably take a hint. Let's go salmon fishing. So I just took a tumble and landed on my reel. See that? Uh, I can't, uh, I can't, I can't reel anymore. Well, that's a job for some pliers and some beer at home. Unfortunate. Saved me, uh, saved my wrist though. Straight down here, there's outlines of two fish. This water is incredibly clear. Um, I'll show you the fly I'm gonna put on. I think I'm gonna stand down here on this rock and just roll cast and uh, try to see if we can entice a little fishy. Whoa, whoa, that little guy just jumped twice, that's crazy. Now guys, in case I didn't say it, this is a uh, cap bugger tied by my buddy Jacob. You guys should also go check out his channel. He's uh, Jack of All Fishing. I'll put a link in the description. No, no, you're good. I, just, I like how you banked it off the rock, that's all. For fly fishing, that's a good strategy. Yeah, because it's like a grasshopper falling off the bank. Oh, Deer Lake? Uh, I've never been there. Okay. You guys see that salmon? Come on, fish. All the fish are jumping on the far side, which is out of my roll cast range, <laughs> unfortunately. It's amazing how shallow it is right now. I went down a little waterfall over here and just crossed over something you could never do a month from now. Oh, you can see him? Yeah, I'm just at a bad angle. I I can't see anything. How many? Oh, you're killing me. I can't I can't reach him. I might come up. I'm just changing flies. I'll come I'm come take a peek. Yeah, I'm putting on the same thing I caught with last fall right now. It's a little uh sculpting. Just gonna go look at fishes. Oh yeah. Do you mind if I roll cast right oh, here? No, yeah. You're cool? Yeah. I appreciate that. I gotta get across from them. That's ah, too far down. Oh well. That's a short leader. Well, so it's, yeah, it's a, the sink tip is really short. I gotta get a deeper, faster one. And it's still right up there. I wonder if I strip it right in front of that. That's a chrome, chrome one right there, right? That thing? Yeah. The, no, no, I don't. Well, I don't care. I just want to fish. <laughs> They're all thrown down there. All of mine. Ah. Can you see the big steelhead over there? Uh. You can go right here. Oh, he's a monster. Oh, I small. oh big steelhead right there. Holy. See that guy? Oh yeah, he's cruising. He's got a bit of a white on his tail though. Yeah. There's a, there's a couple of characters. 
He, he looked at my fly, huh? I think he did. I have a Discord, and one of the guys in the Discord um, works at the hatchery. He's the one who told me that everyone's been catching on flies. And, uh, hey? No, no, no. I mean, just he's the one who said all the coho are being caught on flies. Um, but he also said that this year, the steelhead did really well. Yeah. They got like 40 beautiful steelhead up in the hatchery. Is that a steely? It's got to be. That was nice, bro. Yeah, he didn't like my uh, my fly. Well, we set out to have fun. I definitely had fun. I made a new friend, someone who had already watched my videos, but got to meet him in person, so that was cool. Thanks, dude. Uh, I appreciate you letting me fish with you and seeing those fish on the top of that rock. That was cool. And uh, we saw some fish jump around. Saw some big ass steelhead swimming around. And seeing fish is better than not seeing fish. So I gotta drive home in traffic. Where's my car? I got coffee. See you guys in the next video. Good luck, fishing.